Hi students, today we will be dealing with a hierarchical clustering method, Birch. The Birch is balanced iterative reducing and clustering using hierarchy. So it's designed for a large amount of numerical data and it is done by integration of hierarchical clustering and other clustering methods such as iterative partitioning. So to overcome two difficulties of aggromative clustering, we use this method. That is first one scalability and its inability to undo what was the previous step which is done. Okay. So Birch introduces two concepts for this. First one is clustering feature. Second one is feature tree that is CF tree which is used to summarize the cluster representation. A CF tree is a height balance tree that stores a cluster feature for hierarchical clustering. So before I go into detail about clustering features and clustering uh, feature tree, I have to say some measurement of clusterings. Now the measure of clusters. Given n d-dimensional data objects or a point in a cluster, then the centroid you can calculate using the formula that is x0 is equal to sigma i ranges from 1 to n xi divided by n. So centroid is actually the middle of the cluster and n is the number of points in the cluster. Xi is the ith point in the cluster. Okay. Next measurement is the radius of the cluster which is represented by r which is root of sigma i is equal to 1 to n into Xi minus X0 the whole square divided by n. So radius of the cluster is average distance from the member object to the centroid. Okay. Next is diameter of the cluster. Diameter of the cluster is the average pair distance within the cluster and is denoted by D which is equal to the sigma i is equal to 1 to n, sigma j is equal to 1 to n, xi minus xj the whole square divided by n into n minus 1. Here both r and d reflect the tightness of a cluster around its centroid. Centroid means is the center point of the cluster. Now we are back to the cluster feature. The clustering feature is represented by n, ls, ss and n is the number of points in the cluster. ls is a linear sum of n points that it is uh, sigma of i ranges from 1 to n xi. ss is a square of the sum of the data points that is sigma i is equal to 1 to n xi the whole square. Okay. So, we will just see how it is done. Suppose we are given points 3, 4, 2, 6, 4, 6, 4, 7, 3, 8. So, what will be the CF then? CF is equal to how many N you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 5 here. Okay. Then, what will be LS here? LS will be the sum of 3, 2, 4, 4, 3. That is 16. And this part will be 4, 6, 5, 7, 8. That is 30. Next one is the square sum of. The square sum of uh, the points. Okay. 54, 190 you will be getting. So when the CF clustering feature is done. We have to study the clustering feature tree. The clustering feature tree. It's an incremental insertion of new points. Okay. So you can see this. This is a root level. You have all CF. Uh, till you have CF1, CF2 till CFK. Then what we do is a non-leafy node in the tree has a descendant or a children. So it is non-leafy, it will have a children and leaf node stores the sum of the CF of their children and thus summarizes about the clustering information about the children. So they will be storing, uh, the leaf node will be storing the sum of CF of their children so that they can summarize the information about their children. There are basically two parameters of CF. One is branching parameter that is branching factor B and another one is threshold T. So branching factor B specifies the maximum number of children per non-leafy node and T specifies the maximum diameter of the subcluster stores at the leaf node of the tree. Bridge applies a multi-phase clustering technique. So, it has two phases involved. So, phase 1 and phase 2. 
In the phase one, it scans the database to build an initial memory CF tree, which can be viewed as a multi-level compression of the data. And that tries to preserve the inherent clustering structure of the data. So first, whenever you're getting data from the database, you build a initial CF tree. Okay, it's just like a B tree insertion and node splitting method. Okay, now bridge applies a selected clustering algorithm to cluster the leaf node of CF tree. And the complexity of the algorithm is O of N. Now let us summarize the uh, algorithm. That is for each point in the input, first we will find the closest leaf entry in that. Okay, then add point to the leaf entry and update the CF. If the entry diameter is greater than the maximum diameter, then you start splitting the leaf and even you can split the parents. So this is a summary of uh, your uh, algorithm. Next is advantage and disadvantage. So advantage is scalability is uh, it will be having it is more scalable than any other clustering algorithm as a good quality of clusters being produced from this but it has a limitation that CF can hold a limited number of entries and it does not perform well when the clusters are not spherical in shape. I hope students you might have understood the algorithm. Thank you for watching my video.